Chocolate starfish in the hot dog yes. flavor water. Yes, yes. I listen. First thing first. I thought this album was amazing when this album came out, right? And this was. I was not a Fred Durst fan. I wasn't a Limp Biscuit fan, but this album speaks to my spirit. They got some certified bangers on it. That genre of hip rock that yeah. they helped popularize. Uh, it would. It, it would. Oh my God, it was. It was so good. They, they, they had some certified bangers on this project. This album, top to bottom. I love listening to this album. There's some joints on there. I think one of these songs was actually like the, uh, the theme song to one of the WrestleMania. The WrestleMania where like the Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin fought for the belt. It was like two baby faces fighting for the belt, and it was like My Way was the song that they used in the WWE trailer. It was fat. It's like. Excellent yeah. hip rock project. Yeah. But this art though, okay? This art is ass. It's a, look, it's got my way on it and it's got rolling on here. It's got the WrestleMania theme song and it's got the Undertaker theme song on here. Yeah. And look at this album. A bunch of dwarf demons sitting in hot dog meat. Yeah, what but I'm trying to figure out what's bad about it. Like I'll <laughs> Nigga, look at that shit. That shit is gross. First off, it's disgusting, okay? This doesn't look like the cover of an album. This looks like the cover for a horror film that came out in the 80s that cost like $40,000. Yeah, but the album is called Chocolate Starfish in the Hot mm -hmm. Dog Flavor Water. If we're talking Where's about the bad Where's album the Chocolate titles, Starfish at? You know, it's also, right in front. The Chocolate Starfish is right in front. It looks like a butthole. Yeah, that's all about to say. The Chocolate Starfish is a booty hole, okay? Booty yeah. hole and hot dog water. That's terrible. Awful. Yeah, but the this then then this would have been appropriate for bad album titles because that's mm -hmm. what this is. Yeah, but that is a good album cover for the title that the artist had to work with. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, they, they try it, get, it, let, listen, they look listen, like they look like Titans. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, they do. They they look like the Titans from Attack on Titan. They look like just a bunch of naked. Just like naked and sitting in hot dog meat is that, that ain't that I, I hate this album. Cover. I've always hated this album cover. I love this album <laughs> and I 1000% hate this album cover. Yeah, like, there were so you. many times that I almost didn't buy this album again <laughs> because of this cover. I was like, fuck it, can you just give me the CD? You can keep the case that came in. <laughs> See, I'll challenge you. I think it's the title you hated more than the cover. Destruction, Destruction Inc. says, why did they choose Gollum as the model? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good yeah, point. It looked like, it like look at the, go back to the album cover. It looked like a bunch of children with progeria. <laughs> 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 Terrible. Terrible <laughs> album cover. Look, Token Black Man says, the Roland remix was dope as hell. Method Man, Red Man, DMX, all on the same track. Fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, the role all, all, all that great. song needed was a better white rapper, and they would have been great. Yeah, that's all it needed, really. You know, they just like, yeah, just switch out Fred Durst with, you know, Eminem. Yeah. Oh, man, could you imagine that? Eminem, Method Man, Red Man, and DMX all on one track? That would have been amazing. Yeah, yeah, that that's what should have happened. Yeah. So that's what's, what absolutely should have happened. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree with you on this album. I I love chocolate starfish and hot hot dog flavor water. Hate the album title. I don't have a problem with the album art because it goes with the title. Like it's a shit okay. title. Okay, as as an artist, Monty, explain it. To, Zoe, put it back on the screen. Monty, explain <coughs> it to me because it looks it is all. This has always been an off putting cover for me. Like if I didn't, if you didn't know this was Limp Biscuit, if you didn't know the name of this album was chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water and you just saw this image yeah would you want to no listen water. to this album all right i think the the target might be off or maybe not maybe not because limp biscuit teetered that line with you know being on the harder end and because what i see is inspired by like old fucking iron maiden art mm -hmm. but Take that inspiration and apply it to this stupid ass album cover. 
or album art or album title, not cover. Apply that no, to you, that. Was right. you was right the first time. Yeah. You, you said it, okay? You yeah. had a Freudian slip where you accidentally no, said what you meant. Slip. Apply it to that, mm-hmm. and you end up with this. Like, there's the, the weird little creature holding the starfish in front. And look, mm-hmm. the title is about fucking anal sex. So, yes, it's going to be off-putting. There's a That's butthole, and they're swimming in a bunch of hot dog water. Mm-hmm. Where's the water? Under the hot dogs. Cause oh, I was about to say, all I see is weenies, dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's not going to mess with y'all money, huh? I, no, I, no. It's not <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying. It was like, like I said, for for as good as this out, as fun as this album was, right? Now, let me say that. I, like, I'm not gonna speak to whether or not this is a good album, but I will say that this was a fun album when that hip rock new metal fusion became a thing, right? It was yeah. like, and I always thought Limp Bizkit had a fantastic bass player, right? Like, yes. The, the the album is a fun experience to listen to. Great workout music for bros. Um. And just yeah, that album cover is ass. <laughs> it it's is got an ass on it. Ass. And and Monty just literally said it's anal sex, so that proves that it's ass. <laughs> it proves I was right all along. All right, all right. Before we go on, uh, Ace Wonder thoughts. All right, I already gave it to you, man. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the, the cover. All right. Uh, I discovered the music a little late, so I wasn't on it when it came out. But by the time I got around to it, pretty sure through Hannibal. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I was all over this stuff. All right, all right, no, fair enough. Yeah, and this this album sold like sold six million copies worldwide. Mm-hmm. Oh damn! All right, yeah, six 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 million copies they sold of this project. It was number one in Australia, number one in uh, hold on, let me see, number one album in Australia, number one album in Austria, number one album in Belgium, number one album in Canada, number one Dutch album, number one European album, number one German album, number one Irish album, number one New Zealand album, number one in, in Portugal, in Scotland, uh, and in the UK, and in America. Here's a question. Do you think mm-hmm. it would have sold better with a different art? With different art? Oh, it definitely would have sold better. You, know, you think it would have sold better with absolutely different art? sold better. See, no, I think... I don't think the art mattered on this one for how it happened. Like Nookie was the first single from this, right? Was 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 Nookie the first song on this one, or was Nookie from the last album? No, Nookie was from this one, right? Pull up the track listing. Uh, no, was Nookie no. On this? Bo- Boiler, My Way, Rolling, Take a Look Around was number oh, one on oh, this one. Oh no, yeah, Nookie was their first album. All right, you're mm-hmm. right. You're right. Yep, you're right. This is the second album, but mm-hmm. they blew up like there was Faith and then Nookie. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, "Oh, Lip Biscuit, Lip Biscuit." And what what was this one? My way was yeah. the first one. They listen, put out a roll. We, we got it. We listened like Cry Baby four three two one. First time here. What album we talking about? We are talking about like is it great albums with shitty album art? Lip Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish, and Hot Dog Flavored Water. Fan like loved it. like. And, I love this album, like you know, being a, like especially in the two thousands, you know, the attitude era switching to the ruthless aggression era. I was a big fan of the Rock Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertake, all of those guys, and to have my way be the song for WrestleMania two thousand, for Roland to be the 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 uh, uh, the American badass Undertaker's uh, uh, theme song. Like it was just, it just, it checked all the right boxes. It was a perfect bro workout album when this yeah. project came out. And that cover, like when I tell y'all, I passed on this album like ten times because of that cover. <laughs> just put that shit back on the screen. Put that shit back on the screen. <laughs> but look at that. Like, do you know what this shit looked like? You remember that movie Critters that came out in the in the eighties? This should look like Critters. This shit looks like a B budget. A uh, horror film, and then they was just like, "Oh yeah, this this gonna be our album." Track, okay. <laughs> this was somebody who who liked a lot of heavy metal shit in the seventies and eighties, and tried to do their artistic interpretation in the two thousands, and failed miserably. See, I think they nailed it. I'll say they nailed it because of the album title. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. 
cho- chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water. Maybe maybe the issue is that they just needed a better title for the album. Yes, maybe that's that is the issue. <laughs> that is I, the I issue. Still, I still argue that they need some water. <laughs> you think water would have made it I'm better? Not, I'm, I'm not sitting on a pile of wieners, man. <laughs> <laughs> so would you rather sit on a pile of weenies, or would you rather be floating in in some water with a bunch of weenies in it? It's, it's a, the it's a, might just not come out. I'm just saying, it's a lose lose situation. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, the water might make it grosser. All right, yeah, all right, right. I, I didn't, and, like, and again, if you guys agree with us or disagree with us, let us know in the chat because we're gonna say a lot. Like I said, we're, talk, we're supposed to be talking about great albums with shitty album art, right? Yes. So this, this yeah. was my first pick. My first right. pick was Limp Biscuits, Chocolate Starfish, and Hot Dog Flavor Water. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.